thought it was good. I thought well, I thought he bodied that nigga. I ain't gonna lie. But I'm gonna keep it real with you. I think Myron bodied him. And the only reason why I really think that, because I think he was making some decent points. Myron kept frame was all like Myron's that nigga, bro. We gotta be honest. But one thing too, the moment that nigga said he was bisexual, I'm gonna just keep it honest with y'all. When it comes to like men, like this is still you're talking to men. There's not women tuning in for like, oh, what would like that's what everybody and I'll get to Andrew Tate in a second. It's like, y'all are talking to men. Okay, there's no women like, oh, how do I get the guy? Nobody cares about that. Women know how to get the guy, okay? They either know who to fuck, who to suck, what to do. Who to, like women don't need no tutorial. It's only niggas who need tutorial of how to get women, right? And um essentially this dude, he had some good points, but the moment he said that he was bisexual. It's just like everything went out the window because niggas is like, nigga, you like the guys, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, it was just over because I was watching this shit. I'm like, OK, all right. Oh, he, OK. That's a good point. That's a good point. The moment he say he like dick, too. Over. Over. Nobody wanted to hear that nigga no more. So um, 3 0 sweep, Myron. <laughs> Salute to that nigga, man. But, it, yo, you can't. A bisexual nigga can't debate with me how to get bitches. I'm sorry. Like, you know what I mean? The moment you're like, oh, I like dick too. I'm like, huh, you lost. I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> Feel me? Somebody say he's a smart nigga though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's very intellectually savvy. However, there is a part of this that's more than just being intellectually savvy. It, it also goes off some type of experience and, and, and some, I mean, some personal anecdotes. And once you say you fucking niggas, like, bro, like, yeah, it was over. 3-0 sweep. Um, I, bro, I don't care what y'all say. I'm telling you. I was watching the whole shit. That nigga Destiny was doing his thing. The moment Myron said, well, some of the stuff you're saying, we have to put in perspective because you like men too. It was over. It was over. I'm telling you. Like, the shit was over. There's nothing more we need to hear. It was like, oh, okay, this guy like guys. All right. And it wasn't, and by the way, for people who might think, it's not a, on an ignorant perspective. It's just like what the men that, whether it's an Andrew Tate or a Myron are talking to, they're closer to being incels. So like, bro, they want women. So, you know what I mean? If they're listening to these guys who are teaching them a certain type of mantra or a certain type of ideology, if you come contradicting it, and your whole goal isn't only to get and by the way, I think the dude even said he don't really fuck with guys, but he he has I don't know what the fuck you was saying. The moment you say you fuck with dudes, like everybody was like, Oh, okay, we get it. Damn. Um I said, how is that not ignorant? It's so ridiculous. I got to explain this to y'all. Put it like this. Myron, Tate, um, um, Kevin Samuels, they're teaching men how to understand what women want. And if it's basically saying, if you're a fisherman and you're trying to like, get fish or you're trying to capture fish if you knew how the fish operated and moved you would be a better fisherman that's very clear that's what myron is doing that's that's what most of these guys are doing right and um here's the point it, it it's 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 it defeats the purpose of conversation if you talk to another fisherman and he's basically saying he's not only fishing for fish He's so he comes in with some great arguments and then you're like, oh, okay, that, that kind of makes sense. Cause I was agreeing with the nigga. And as soon as he says, Oh, but I also want niggas. I was like, the fuck is we doing? You know what I mean? Like the fuck is we doing? Bro? Yo, Zucre, I don't even fuck what you're saying. Told me he fucks 99% women. I'm just telling you how men are going to react, okay? 
you know, like, like, like I get it. Andrew Tate's cancer. We want to talk about it in a second, but bro, if you sucked one nigga's dick back in '94, we don't care if you fucked a million women. You know where we're gonna call you. Like, stop, stop with this. Like, he only likes he likes women ninety nine percent of the time, but one percent he likes men. Like, bro, stop it. I'm just talking about if you're if you're trying to give instructions to men. This is how men normally think. This is why this is why they can't say Andrew Tate by the way, because like, if you really frame that in an, an aggressive and abrasive way, they they'd be like, oh, you're homophobic. No, bro, like these dudes who are listening to Andrew Tate are fresh and fit. Like they want to get pussy, and they wouldn't. They don't want to listen to a woman telling them about getting pussy. They don't also want to listen to anybody who's who's interested in getting anything beyond pussy. So if you want to get some booty hole. They don't want to listen to you, bro. That's what it is. The fuck? So, trust me. Intellectually, I rock with the dude. He's, I think he was there. Intellectually. And I was kind of rooting for him a little bit. Because it was like, yo. When you watched a lot of low. Like, like I could be honest. The majority of the conversations that happens on Fresh and Fit. is low IQ shit. It's like, bro. If, nigga, I'm on there a lot of times. Yo, I be on there like, yo. These bitches are too dumb. Like, like you shouldn't even have a conversation. But it's like low hanging fruit. That's why I've, I've chilled out a little bit, bro. It's low hanging fruit. So like, I respect dudes like the Destiny dude. I'm like, yeah, okay. Little high IQ. He's coming in with a different type of sauce. Blah blah blah. But the whole point is that, um, bro, if 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 your like you know maintenance strategy ain't like what other niggas is, if if you want dudes, like nobody gonna listen to you, bro. That's just what it is. It's just like what I've been saying about that bum ass nigga Rulu nigga. He married for 30 years, ain't getting no new pussy since 1800, but he's trying to tell us how to get women. Like, are you kidding me? Like, bro, like, come on, like, make this shit realistic. Make this shit realistic. That's what we're trying to say. So, like, again, I do think the Destiny nigga is smart, but I understand the moment he lost the debate was when, because it's not a debate in a vacuum where you can't consider the audience. The audience is a bunch of dudes who want to get with women. And as soon as you torpedo your credibility by saying you're open to women, to getting with women and men, they're going to say, they're going to chalk up every great point you had to say, oh, this nigga just wanted to get with niggas. That's the only point I'm trying to say. Come on, man. There must be some destiny niggas in there because I never ever heard the chat niggas. Somebody said, yo, y'all are insecure. As fuck, who cares who he fucks? I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. A gay nigga can't tell me how to get hoes. Facts. I'm gonna tell you that. Right up. A gay nigga cannot tell me no. Nigga. Nigga, I got a master's degree in hoes, bro. And a gay nigga, a uh, gay nigga ain't gonna tell me about nothing about that. Now, I ain't saying this dude's gay, but you know, he's bisexual. He's doing either or. You know what I mean? Like, he, he got a different study. So, I'm gonna try to tell you. I'm sorry, chat. Like, bruh, yo, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I right, maybe this is some biases, right, bro? I'm still a guy. Yo, it took me a year to really give a barber a chance. The nigga had dreads. He don't cut his own hair, but he want to come on. Like, what the fuck? I think I went to barber shop. Like, nigga, you don't cut your own hair. Why you want to come on? You feel me? They're like, no, he nice. I'm like, nigga. Nigga, you want me to trust this nigga for beat? He got dreads. He don't cut his hair at all. He don't even give himself a lineup. They'll be like, nah, he good. Nah, you, you should get your hair cut by him. Nigga, he don't cut his own hair. What the fuck are we talking about? Again, we, we we just speaking honestly. You know what I mean? Bro, like, I can't even say that. I don't want to say I like the dude. But I think intellectually, he's, he's kind of on point. Like, he's, he's a good debater. You feel me? And, um... Watching, you know, my guys over there fresh and fit, I do think, I think the whole shit is, you know, y'all are simps, so, like, y'all just, like, watching whores talk to, like, like, bro, Myron is talking 20 levels above them circles, he got stats and everything, these bitches, all they know is, like, yo, what time should I be at the club tonight for Quavo, they don't even know what's going on, bro, like, you know what I mean, so, I like higher level conversations, which I do believe when you start debating, 
that what's it brings that. So even even though I said that dude Schneeko or whatever got got um I, I thought he got flamed by the that's the nigga violated him. I like like the Schneeko dude is cool too because he's trying. He's trying. He's trying to like bro, low hanging fruit. I'll give an example of low hanging fruit. Me doing the Warren Chirac is low hanging fruit, bro. Like that's what I'm doing no more, bro. You think I can't still come out here and, and crack the funniest jokes of all time on all the fuckery and coonery going on right now? Nigga, let me pull up on my page. Bro, there was just a fucking story. 